Hey guys! So the other day I went shopping and I bought a new lipstick and I fell in love with it instantly. NARS Train Blue. Blue? Train Blue? I, I don't know how to say this. It's blue spelled like blue cheese. Why is it called Train Blue? It's not blue. But looking at this lipstick, it made me want to do a video of my top 10 favorite winter lipsticks because I have a lot of colors that are really, really appropriate for the winter time because I like dark, bold colors. So I thought I would do a little lip swatch video of my favorite winter lipsticks. Yay! <laughs> also let me know if you like lip swatches. This is a thing I've never done before, so here we go. First is Too Faced Melted Matte Lipstick in Queen Bee, and this is the nudist color of this group. I tend to not be a person that wears like nude, nude lipsticks, just because if I want to wear a nude lipstick, I'm just gonna wear a lip balm, like, ugh. This one's got a nice kind of like rosy undertone to it. It's like a pinkish, nude beige. It's pretty, it's flattering. The liquid lipsticks in this line are really, really comfortable, so I quite like this one. Next is another liquid lipstick, and I only have a few in this video. This one is the NYX Liquid Suede Lipstick in Stone Fox, and this one is a relatively new addition to my collection, and I love it. It's such a cool color. It's like a dark gray, but it's also got like a blue undertone. It's like slate gray. I don't know. I never thought I would like gray lipsticks, but like, who'd have thunk it? Gray. This one is a little bit more drying than the other one, um, but it's still not horrible. Uh, it doesn't get all crusty and weird in the corners though, which is really nice. Um, I found that some liquid lipsticks do that, especially the Kat Von D ones, which I don't know if the formula's changed since I tried one of her liquid lipsticks, but last time I tried one, got all crusty and came off really easily. Next is the last liquid lipstick I'm gonna talk about, and this is the color Jellies from ColourPop. Now, I really like jellies and I really like Climax. I can't find Climax, and Climax is one of the um, matte lippies. I really love this color, though. Um, it's a really, really bright royal blue. Um, it goes on really nice and smooth. It is quite a bit drying. That's my one gripe with ColourPop lipsticks, the liquid lipsticks, but um, the color is so cool and unique that I'm like, you were $6. I can't complain that much. Next is Plague from Urban Decay, and this is another newer addition to my collection, and this color is fucking phenomenal. It's a bright, like, lilac purple, but it's got a lot of shimmer to it, a lot of metallic finish to it. It's a cream finish, but like, it's really not a cream finish, it's metallic, but it's one of their Vice Retro lipsticks. Oh, I'm in love with it. I'm in love with it so much. Oh, it's so pretty. Definitely if you're in need of like, a really cool like retro purple. This one is so bomb. Speaking of purples, um, this is one of my oldest lipsticks. This is Max Rebel and it is an Old Faithful. It's like a like a magenta purple. It's not this dark in the tube as you can see in the swatch. It's a lot brighter, but this is so pigmented. It's a satin finish and it is so comfortable on lips. One other MAC lipstick I really, really like is the Viva Glam One. This one has probably just about the same amount of use as Rebel, and this color is the first MAC lipstick I think I ever purchased. It is such a beautiful, like, deep, true red. It's, like, kind of brown, but it's still, like, a nice, bright, and bold red, and I think it's one of those colors that would look good on, like, everybody because it is such a neutral undertone. Like, it's not too warm and it's not too cool. It's just the right amount of brown. It's just, it's, ugh. This, this is probably way too old for me to be using it, but like, I don't care. <laughs> Next is a Portland Black Lipstick Company in black. It's black. The best black lipstick I think I've ever tried. I have tried a black lipstick from Makeup Forever, which slips around and bleeds into my lip lines. I tried a black lipstick, a liquid lipstick from Kat Von D that got like crusty and gross. I've tried a couple other black ones, but this one is the best. It's kind of dry when you first put it on, but when you kind of like work it into your lips, it gets really nice and creamy and melts into them. And it has a little bit of peppermint oil in it, so it's really nice and like fresh and like almost tingly but I feel like the peppermint oil works as a way to help it dry down without being like too drying. It's really pigmented too. And it smells like peppermint. 
My only gripe with this one is that it's just like a lip balm tube, so it's not the easiest thing to work on the lips. So I find it works best with a lip brush, but to each their own, I guess. Next is another nude-ish color. Um, it's more of a brown nude. This one is 1993 from Urban Decay, and I'm so happy I found this again, because I lost it, and I thought I was gonna have to buy it again, but I'm like, I don't want another spend another 20 some dollars on a lipstick. So I found it, so happy. It's like the most 90s brown, trendy as fucking lipstick, but it's beautiful, and the finish is really nice. It's a matte, but like it goes on really lightweight and creamy, and then it like dries to some magical matte formula that like doesn't slip around like crazy. I don't know, it's cool, it's awesome. I love the finish of this one. Next is a uh, Kale from Bite Beauty and it's a deep fucking green color. It's really emollient, it's very creamy, so if you don't wear it with a lip liner, it will slide around, it will bleed into the lip lines. That's my only thing with it, but wearing it over the top of a clear lip liner ugh, saved everything. It's such a pretty color. I'm so excited that I found that like hack, not really a hack, it's not a hack because that's what it's supposed to do. So happy that I found that the clear lip liner works with it because um, it looks really cool with my hair. If you have purple hair, wear green lipstick. For real, you'll thank me later. And then the last lipstick is the one that I'm wearing, Train Bleu. It's one of their velvet matte lip pencils from NARS. I have a few NARS lipsticks from over the years, but the only other velvet matte lip pencil I have from them is Cruella, which came as part of like a birthday set a few years ago, the free birthday gift that Sephora gives away. And I really like that red color. It's really nice and the formulation's really nice too. So I was like, I'll give this a try. Cool, I tried it on in the store and I'm like, I feel like it looks really cool with this like bright red eye, you know? You know? I'm wearing Slow Burn from the Electric Palette on my eye, by the way, if you're wondering. With a little bit of Venetian red from Anastasia like along the lash line, so it's like smoked out a little bit. I don't know. I wanted like hella bright red eyeshadow today. So those are all my 10 favorite winter lipsticks. Let me know in the comments what your favorite winter lipstick is and if you've tried any of these, what you think about them. If you think there are some that I should try out that you think I would love based on this wide array of colors. Basically the only colors that I don't have are just like pink that I like, I just don't like straight up like pink lipsticks anymore. I don't know, times have changed. Also I have purple hair and actually I haven't tried pink lipstick with my purple hair. With the blue hair, it looked really stupid, but with the purple hair, it might look cool. I'll get back to you on that. Song of the day is uh, Ugly Evergreen by Smoky Brights, and this band has a show this weekend. They're playing with Ravenna Woods. It's gonna be awesome. Their new album, Hot Candy, is so good. I talked about it um, on my top Seattle music write-up thing on Seattle Music Insider. It's such a good album. I love those guys. I'm so excited. It's gonna be great. It's like this really long, like epic track. It's like five minutes long and it's like super badass. Smoky Brights is awesome. If you haven't listened to Smoky Brights, change that right now. The whole album is great, but particularly Ugly Evergreen. Favorite track on the whole thing, besides In Demand. In Demand is also good too. Keep leaving me questions for a Q&A. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit the little bell if you wanna see when I upload new videos. Mondays and Thursdays is my schedule, but you can see what time of the day it is. Yay, fun times! And I'll see you guys on Thursday. Bye.